Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our time-based compensations in our Fuel Tech Manager software. The time-based compensations is gonna be a drag-specific feature that's gonna allow us to reduce the engine's power output when we launch the car to limit the acceleration rate so we don't go into wheel spin. Now, in the previous video, we took a look at our traction control. We know we can calculate our slip if we have wheel speed sensors wired in and um, we set everything up. Now, the traction control is gonna work great for most vehicles, but on a really high power car, when we go to launch, it might have too much slip and it might be hard to implement. So the time-based compensation is gonna be something we can use for the first second or two seconds of the launch, and then we can kick in our traction control. Or if we have a real drive vehicle that doesn't wanna wire in wheel speed sensors, that we can use this time-based compensation to have in place of the traction control. We can bring in our data logs from the best 60 foot for the best uh, eighth mile or even 330 into our actual software. And we can do an overlay so that we can tell it when we want to go and have a ignition retard being applied or an ignition cut based on time or based on vehicle speed or drive shaft RPM. We also have, if we're drive by wire, the ability to reduce our throttle angle for the first few seconds of the launch to also control our power output. There's a ton of different ways we can work with this time-based compensation. It is a huge advantage in drag racing. So without further wait, let's jump in the video so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our time-based compensations in our Fuel Tech Manager software. This is gonna give us dynamic control over our vehicle's acceleration rate for the first few seconds after a launch in a drag race scenario. So we have to make sure we have a two-step control set up and working, and it's going to be showing the off status once we've launched the car and we start to accelerate. That'll go and kick it into the time-based compensation tables, and we're able to manage our power delivery based on our engine speed against time or our wheel speed against time. We're able to cut the uh, spark and or retard the ignition timing to have the desirable acceleration rate that we're after. So essentially we're trying to avoid going into wheel spin and overpowering the car on the track conditions or the tires that we're using. So it's uh, gonna be a great feature if you're gonna go from track to track and you need to make sure you have some implementation of traction control. Now we did look at a specific video on traction control. We actually have that populated right here. So we should understand how that's gonna work. It's all gonna be based on our calculated slip between our driven and undriven wheel. But when we launch the car, especially with the first second or two, it's going to have a high, high amount of slip that's gonna be calculated. And that may not be desirable in a drag race situation, actually can throw everything off. Um, so we can actually use our time-based compensations in place of the traction control for essentially first gear for the first 30 or 40 miles per hour as we start to accelerate. And then we can kick it into an calculated slip once it settles into second and third and fourth gear and higher gears, then it's going to be much more applicable to calculating the proper slip. So let's go and check this out and how this is gonna be working. So we go here into our time-based compensations under drag race features. This feature is already going to be populated here. I actually don't have to go into map options and turn it on. Um, jumping in here, it's going to look a little bit complicated. We're going to have an area where we can actually load data logs. This is going to be a key in setting this up. We're going to take a look at this. We'll have our main programming screen here and then our options based on what we will actually want to enable and program. Now we do have another section here. If we open up our window here and go to our config. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.